Can you guys chillax? I noticed my room was messy and I had to clean it. Golly. Jay, can you turn your mic software on? Yeah, I got you. I'm like, hey, sorry, like. Mic feedback off. Like, I'm sorry I have a job, okay? Like, I, you know, like, I chose where it's oh. like, I chose not to, I chose, I chose, I chose not to eat food. I chose to starve so I could, I could give you content. I chose to, to go live and I chose to, to buy things from Target such as this brown sugar chestnut candle. I've had my hood on all day. Don't look at my hair, please, please. This brown sugar chestnut candle, you can't even, you can't even, bruh, you can't even see, you can't even read it. How about, how about I flip it like this and you, <laughs> can you read it now? What if I turn it upside down? Oh, I'm a genius actually, <laughs> like I'm actually a genius. Y'all rock with this? So uh, yeah, the brown sugar chestnut candle. I also I got the I got the coconut plus honey candle, bro. Which one should I light first? Which one should I get lit? <laughs> get it lit. Get lit. I also got some deodorant. Um, I don't know, it just it just looked nice. You know, you feel me? Um, I also, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, birthday stuff, you know, birthday stuff, hella discounts. I got a freaking record player for some reason. <laughs> it's a, no, it's an investment. It's an investment. It's an investment. It's an investment. <laughs> it's an investment. It's an investment. It's an investment. The thing is, I don't actually have any records. Luckily, it has Bluetooth speakers that can, that can be connected to anything such as my phone or my computer. I could watch movies on that. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Um, I probably have other stuff to show you, but oh, I gotta, I gotta. Let me turn my camera back. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I got a god dang Rubik's cube. <laughs> I got, had that joint mixed. Had it mixed for me. Uh, I'm not even close to solving it though. I was doing this at work. Not even close to solving it. I got all white, but that doesn't really help me that much, does it? <laughs> like, it's, but that took a minute. And you know, you know me, Mr. Puzzler. Mr. Puzzler. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Also, I have this vintage cola. I already, whatever. I don't, I, I, you know. No way I have a record. Uh, man, let me read the chat, actually. Yeah, there's like, there's like cheats, there's hacks for it that you can just look up, but like, I want to figure it out myself because I'm not like, I'm not going to ruin it. Hello, Shane. Hi, Uda Ron. Bro, Apex got moist playing again. This is insane. Wow. I love that guy. I'm happy that Apex is popping off. Now they're all going to forget about how they were complaining about the free game having digital cosmetics. Damn, they got 200,000 on Apex. Hold on. Lifeline to Bangalore, man. I hope not OMG. He need to play right now. I'm trying to see. Is that Art Gnome did? Yeah, she went crazy. Literally, that's literally them, bro. That's literally Gnome and Shane. Yep. You guys see that AI video generator thing? No. Nice fit, man. Uh, hi, Ryan. Hitting that, that candle just like you, for real. Facts. They call me the brown sugar. No way I have a record, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Uh, since y'all were rushing me, I'll get to it. Sorry, I had steam open. Let me turn the light off too. All right. What was I doing? I to get the power back on. I'm just, I'm gonna thug it out. I'm just going straight, straight in. 
Close the door. I'm just going straight in. It's too big. I guess I'll need something pointier. Think, Sophie. Think. What can you use to open the fuse box? I don't know. Maybe an ice pick could pry open the fuse box. Think, Sophie. Where would I get an ice pick? What can you use to open the fuse box? How, but if the power's out, how is the elevator still working? Where would I get an ice pick at? Like, I don't want to leave. Like, what? Like, Sophie, you're doing too much. I don't think there's anything here that would help me. Like, you're doing too much. Just let, like, just let it play out. Mind your business. Like, if they got reserve power, like, why am I trying so hard to put get the power back on when there's a murderer on the loose? Sophie, think. What can you use to open the fuse box? And where would I have an ice pick at? Like now I'm trapped on this floor with a murderer. Where would I have Wh and I don't want to just like kill I don't want to get her killed like I at least like w maybe an ice pick could open it. Where is the ice pick, Sophie? Why wouldn't they have that in the goddamn janitor's closet? We're like we in the engineer's closet. Bro, screwdriver try harder. <laughs> Bro, wait for someone to come help you. Like, you're really doing too much. Like, I genuinely mean that. You're actually doing too much, Sophie. Like, he could start sprinting at you right now. Like, now, now it's low-key just padding, bro. Because it's just like... what. Let me go find him. I'm I'm actually about to look it up. <laughs> like you're, it's getting you're getting on my nerves, Sophie. You think the wife kill? Facts. They did talk about killing the husband. But who would have that? Why would anyone have that? <laughs> like, act, like explain what, how anybody would have that in their hotel room. Nope. Like, no, they, yeah, she just, like, a, a full bloody body got dragged up the stairs. And she said, oh, let me go find an ice pick. Sophie, you better barricade yourself in a room. Like, because you're doing way too much. It's right there. The trail is right there. If you had been, like, a second too soon, you're cooked already. If they saw you, you're cooked already. But luckily they didn't because there's no actual like characters in this game. Like she don't yeah, she's doing too much. Like Thanks, Sophie. Thanks. And I don't know where it's at. Like I don't wanna look through every single room. <laughs> what is this game called? Bruh. Yeah, I'm looking up a walkthrough, bro. Because <laughs> I don't know where it's at. <laughs> This walkthrough said it was good to be closing all the doors, so happy that I was doing that.
Bro. Might need this to restore power. Okay, so now she won't. Okay. There's an ice machine somewhere. But where could it be? Dog. <laughs> the fall off. <laughs> this is the fall off of change room. Fall off of this bed we made. None of these guides are mentioning the freaking, like, uh, no, none of these guides are me mentioning an ice pig. That joint has no, like, that the joint isn't even real. There is no ice pig. I'm not, I'm not joking, by the way. Like, I genuinely don't know what to do. I have no idea. Did any of you see an ice machine at any point? Oh, wait, dude. Okay, so... I'm supposed to actually follow the blood. Like, wh wh what sense does that make? <laughs> like, what sense does this make to do this, Sophie? Like, why would I do this? This is so dumb. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. <laughs> oh, there's the ice machine. They're, like, I had no way to know this was here. Because I... Because I was... I, this area was blocked before. Okay. This looks like something I can use to open the Also, door. if you step in the blood, then you leave footprints. According to the guide. Like, that's so silly. That is extremely silly. The area that I could not go to is where the new area opened up. But why would I even go there in the first place? Also, he's stuck in the elevator. The implication is that there's somebody... The, the implication is that there's somebody on this floor right now. So why would they have me, like, opening doors and stuff? There's no one actually on the floor because they don't want you to interact with anybody, ever. It's too big. I guess I'll need that work to thank God. Now, to get the power back. Eugene, what I would give to have you with me right now. Your note will have to make do. Check fuse box plan. Oh my god. Check fuse box plan for required amperage of each socket. Remove all blown fuses from sockets. Bl blown fuses are usually blackened. Let me remove the black one. Is that what blackened means? That there's like a hole there? That is those three? I hope that's what that means. Screw in new fuse and socket. Make sure amperage is correct. 
Flick big lever to restore power, Eugene. Hmm. Let me save the game before I start doing this. Facts it would suck if you get framed. This game really is a choices game. There's like a ton of endings apparently. Hopefully I get the good one because I'm so good at the game. Fuse A? Wait. Oh no. Oh, if this is covered in... What is that? Is that blood? If that's blood, then that means somebody was in this room, too. How does... Like... The rest of the code. How did I not encounter anybody this whole time? <laughs> not much use without the rest of the code. Not much use without the rest of the code. I don't even remember what these were. I don't even, I don't remember. I have no idea. It's not, it can't be that one, right? Oh my god, I should have remembered which ones I took out, man. Can I, like, inspect them? Fuse? Fast? Oh my god, what am I- Oh my god! <laughs> it's not even a puzzle. Okay, type A is 15. It's supposed to be next to a 20. And red is 20, so I need to put a type- No, nope, I need to put a type S right there, because that's 20. Okay, can I- Okay, okay. Had me worried. So that's 20. So type P is 25. So this is type G because this needs 30. Oh, nope, not that one. This one needs 15 and 15 is A. So t put, put A in there. Make sure Amphrey is correct. Flick, flick big lever to restore power. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm goaded. I'm goaded. <laughs> I'm goaded. So what am I supposed to do now? I know they saved the game for me, but I'm saving it again. Power's back. Now I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. Why would you, bro? There's. I have to contact the police. Why would you do that when? I should be able to call from the front desk. Is there anything I've forgotten? Um. Once I leave this floor, I. Probably won't be able to come back. I think his head is glitching. I'm I'm gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, there's a phone in every room, and I was in them, so I don't see why I would have to... Why she, like, she said, actually, let me move the body. Let me risk it instead of locking myself in a room or something. Like, she's doing everything wrong. The elevator worked anyway. Why didn't she just do this before? It couldn't go up or down? I need a phone. Hey, guys. Does anyone work here? Nobody works here. Okay. My review will be mixed. <laughs> My review will be mixed. Hey, you can't expect it. Montreal Police Service, Station 22. There's a... There's a man dead. He's been murdered. I... I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? At the lobby. But the body, it's... It's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um... 11... 1178 Drummond Street. They went crazy with the eye right. movements, though. Officers are on their way. Thank you. No, I just have... 
have to wait for the police. Okay. Honestly, I I did surprisingly well for hey, oh, the here. way he walked up, dude. I've tried restoring the power, but I think Eugene's the only one with the key to the fuse box, and I. It's it's not nah, it's it, it Loki is Andrew. Don't worry, I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Hey, you look a bit pale. Is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. If if this game was scary, okay. Let's be honest, like, I'm a baby, but I powered through that section. I powered through that section. <laughs> How is he taking that whole thing? I just, I, I just, I, I was too logical about it, because it's so dumb to walk towards the blood. It's so foolish. He's, he's dead, Andrew. Jesus. Uh, maybe you need Where was Andrew at, man? Took his hand. Ew. Did you call the police? Yeah, they're, they're on their way. What happened? Was he sick or something? I don't know. Andrew seems a little too genuine. <laughs> hey, he seems too, like, genuinely confused. He seems, like, just oblivious. Jesus. Do you think it could be Paul? Who is Paul? It can't be Paul because there's a there's an affair happening. The police will want to ask you a lot of questions. You may want to be careful about what you tell them. With Paul's history of mental illness, your choices matter. Make sure you say the right thing. Even if he didn't do it. What are you saying? What I mean is that spending some time in a psychiatric hospital doesn't make you a murderous psychopath. But for some reason, that's what everyone seems to think. The police especially. Mm. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. You know how I said I studied to become a priest, but never took my orders? That's because I... I felt so lost. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like. I could barely get myself out of bed. So I ended up going to a psychiatric hospital. You you did not call. You did. You said he had a past, but he told us already that he he was against those hospitals or or blah blah blah. It was like I had become a complete. That's not really a past. He just went to the hospital. I was making it worse in my head, but I swear, people were changing sidewalks when they saw me, looking at me as if as if I was this dangerous creature. All of a sudden. That's why I didn't tell you that... What? Call it coincidence or fate. But that psychiatric hospital? It's the same one Paul went to. I've met him there. Talked to him a bit. I'm sorry I didn't say anything before. That's it? Like, you just met him one time? Okay. I get why you didn't. You do? You know how I tell everyone that my mom's sick, bedridden? Well, it's true, but I always leave out the part about her illness not being physical. I'm ashamed of the truth. So even though I don't know exactly what you went through, I, I can understand. Thank you. For telling me you don't even have I a past andrew you just an easy thing to talk about but if you ever want andrew to talk has no mom, past he just went to a I mean, mental hospital for a few days and he met a, a guy that may or may not not be a murderer promise me you'll be careful with the information you share hmm? yeah yeah Another thing, the cops can get here through this blizzard. Everyone can leave during this blizzard. Everyone is not in their rooms during this blizzard, but they're complaining about not being able to move during the blizzard. What was the point of that? Like, they didn't even take a long time either. <laughs> like, like, there's cars outside right now.
Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy! Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. Okay, let's let's lock in. Let's lock in. I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor, and that's when, that's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Why would I lie? Well, Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. the body prevented the doors from closing so the person that killed him was on the same floor they could not have left where were they at <laughs> where were they at how did i do all that while they were there or what was cruz killed and then left on the elevator or was his body already in the ice box and they dragged it out and then onto the elevator? But that doesn't make sense. <laughs> really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations. So the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I... I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, oh, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. So... What did you do after that? Well... Um, that's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? I don't want to be a liar. It would be so dumb to be a liar. I it's the thing is he was clearly killed with that ice pick. So me saying that is the bad choice. But at the same time, if you explain it simply, like, it's not, like, you shouldn't even, <laughs> I know they're trying to, like, set me up, <laughs> like, they're trying to set me up, but it would be so dumb to not say that and then just explain <laughs> what happened. And I can't save the game because they know I'm, because I'm right. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick, so I went to the ice machine to get one. Hmm. You're a size 7, I suppose. Um, yes I am. Why? What did you see when you went to the ice machine? There was blood. A lot of it. Did you touch anything? I didn't touch anything. I literally only got the, the ice pick and then I left. But... We all saw it! We all saw it! We saw it live! We saw it live! I didn't touch anything. I... Took my ice pick and I was gone. And then I said, oh, if you step in the blood, it'll do something bad. But th I didn't step in it, did I? I didn't step in it. No. No, nothing. That's weird. It sure looks like someone poked around the crime scene. Oh, well. We'll know more once the fingerprint analysis comes in, won't we? So. Wait, wait why? Did you do they, that? they said that like it was a lie. I literally did it, though. <laughs> I, I, that was the lying option, but I didn't touch anything. I didn't even touch anything. Restoring the power. I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words. I... No. I mean, I remember, I but it's fine. She doesn't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? A 
maybe all the blood around his body? <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no way. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. What makes you think it was murder? His body was covered in blood on the ground next to an elevator. It was literally dragged there. How could it not have... You can't be serious. <laughs> you cannot be serious. Like, either this guy's the worst at his job ever, or this game just... Oh, I don't know what's happening anymore. Like, I, we had we had a good... I think... Actually, I think he slammed his head on the ground and just went to sleep next to the elevator and dragged his body through the hotel. I shouldn't even have to say I've been snooping around. I very clearly... <laughs> It was so obviously murder. It shouldn't even be a choice in the first place. I'm thinking. Why do these detective games always start pissing me off when they're almost over? Like, this is just Frog Detective 4. <laughs> Why, like, there's not a third option? Actually, it was covered in blood, so obviously, like, it's... I... I've been snooping around the guests' rooms. This is my best choice, I think. I didn't think you'd admit it. You knew already? Safe's left wide open. Makeshift keys left inside of... I literally tried to take the key out and she didn't let me. <laughs> she didn't let me. You guys remember, I literally, I tried to take the key out. It didn't even give me the option. Box, you haven't exactly been subtle about it, have you? Oh. oh. No. I closed all the doors. I closed all all of the lock. The safe wasn't even open. <laughs> the safe wasn't, the safe. <laughs> The, the I closed all of the sliding doors, all the closets. I did everything in my power, bro. Unless you want me to arrest you for violating your guests' privacy, I suggest you tell me everything you know. All right. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. And why, like, why didn't I just have the option to tell him everything in the first place? Why is Sophie trying to withhold information? Like... <laughs> I should have been like, oh yeah, I was stooping around. I I literally solved the entire case for you while I was doing it. Here's all the information. But she's like, uh, actually, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Like, like she, it, What can you tell me about him? I'm snitching. I'm snitching. I don't care. Hospital after the war. That's when he got into Mrs. Cruz's novels. And they really helped yes, him. Yes, I already know about his time in a madhouse. They called the place and they painted quite the picture of him. Did you ever see him display odd behavior in or around the hotel? Actually, I never saw him because this game had no interactions with any characters except Andrew, so. No. Also, why does the detective look just like the other two men in this game? That's just Bernard's model a second time. A third time because he died in the elevator. We've all got our little quirks, don't we? Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, maybe, but... Obsessed enough to kill her husband? No, nothing like that. We all have our obsessions. Me, for instance. I'm obsessed with celebrities and gossip magazines, and... You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Mr. Spade is not like you and me. He may look like us, but... Uh, it doesn't matter, because Andrew, like, said it like I had the option. If what I could tell him would impact his stay in the psychiatric hospital. If I had lied there, he already knew that he had spent time in the hospital in the first place. He said, we know all about Mr. Spade's history. So I would have just lied for no reason. Andrew tried to mislead me. They already know, so why are they even asking me about him? He's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. So tell me, did you ever see I him? never even saw him. I, I never even saw him. Or aggressive. Every ending I'm gonna get is bad, even though I did all of the game c correctly and with no misses. 
Why couldn't I take the key out when I tried? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense to me. Let's get a flashback. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I wish I could take the key so I can't leave any evidence. Remember when I said that? I never saw him in the first place, so I can't even... I can't say whether or not he did or not. He's not even... He's not even a character in the game. He's... And what does take a stand mean in this context? And why is this guy even asking me if he wants me to take him off the street? What does take a stand mean? Like, if you want him to be the killer to say that... You're wrong. I beg your pardon? He is like us. We all struggle sometimes. Some of us more than others. Andrew's not even involved, There's though. There's nothing wrong with that. You may not have noticed, Miss Roy, but neither of us are in an insane asylum right now. He was brave enough to seek help. That doesn't make him a criminal. That doesn't mean he killed Mr. Cruz. You know, I'm starting to worry about your own mental state, Miss Roy, since you're so eager to defend- And I worry about your ability to do your job, Detective, since you seem to be such a- Enough! One more word, just one more word, and you'll be spending the rest of your night in a cell. We're talking about Paul right now. We're not even talking about Andrew. Get the hell out of here. I've had enough of you. Bad ending. Oh, Shane got the bad ending, even though he did everything right. This this detective is just like a hater. Like they gave me the worst detective in the game in the universe. Nobody nobody heard him yelling at me in there. Like, and Sophie still had more information to give. He had no reason. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> chipper on the phone that can't be a good sign the atmosphere is so different in here it'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens though eugene the lobby will be a swimming pool by the end of the month will the rest of the building even be standing i'll need a mop to clean the puddle with all the leaks i'm sure there's one nearby uh, i wonder are they going to tell me what happened next <laughs> <laughs> I'm just back to cleaning. I guess she guess she's fine. <laughs> I hate when things do this, bro. <laughs> I hate that so much. Why am I here? Tell me what happened. Why am I cleaning this up? I don't work here. The hotel's closed. So why are you why do I even have the option of be cleaning this? Uh, I'll go empty my locker. Andrew got fired, hey, dog. Are you okay? Um, I've I've just been fired. What? No. Uh... It's okay. I just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. They fired yeah. Andrew. He didn't do anything. Yeah. Free Andrew. Free Andrew. Oh, I'm next. Oh, you gotta... he's slow typing it too. Ah, uh, Miss Roy. Come in. He looks just like the detective. At least Sophie's I not in jail. Why you're here? I would guess it has something to do with the murder. Well, you'd be right about that. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable. To have one's yep, session. Blown away like that. Oh my god, I Obviously, don't care! I don't care! <laughs> to fire me! It's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. <laughs> For guests of such morals, to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid... You weren't even there. You didn't even see it like I did. Things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level, and it starts with the people working here. It's Just say I'm getting fired, dog. Yes. From what I've heard, you've been quite the exemplary maid lately. Clean rooms, satisfied guests. I take my job very seriously, sir. As you should. We'll see for the future, but for now... I don't want to work here! 
Andrew got fired. Not done. <laughs> the police have finished their investigation and left a mess on the fifth floor. I want you to clean it up. Sophie, be real, Sophie. I found a dead body on that floor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sophie. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't do it, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do it, you're fired. <laughs> it's the best game ever. You know that's the realest part of this game. That's the only thing that makes sense so far. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Because I quit. Sure. I fire you. You quit. It's all the same to me. Just make sure to empty your locker before the end of the month. That'll be all. Hey, you fired Andrew. You think I'm cool? You think I'm cool with you? <laughs> Free Andrew. So why did he fire? He had no reason to fire Andrew, though. He was literally t telling Andrew to look at women in magazines and whatnot. He said, hey, you can pick one out just for you. Like, yeah, but uh, he got fired, though. <laughs> okay. So what did Bernard want with you? Well, he was being kind of a jerk. So I quit. You what? I quit. I figured there was no point in staying if you were leaving. I'm flattered, but that really wasn't necessary. I think it's for the best. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Well, I told him about my time at the psychiatric. Why hospital. did you tell him that? Really? Why did you yeah. Why did you tell him that? Why did you tell him that? Why did you tell him that? Be careful with the information you share to the police. I think I'm going to tell Bernard about mine. He said that that didn't... At least tell me why you said it. Like, at least tell me why you told him that. Andrew. So I guess, I'll never know. I think I'd like to be my own boss. No more Bernard looking over my shoulder. I've... I had this dream for a while of he thinks he's Martin Luther King. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. Oh, that's like the perfect ending for it them, though. So much sense. I'd be able to combine the two things I love most: reading books and helping people. Granted, helping people find books. Sophie got off scot free. Did she go back and tell them more information? I'm confused. Like, how did they even figure out about the sexual deviance and whatnot? A far cry from helping. What about Michael? Daughter? I go. Likes to say, There's no job too small. Plus, just by the way you're talking about it, it's obvious it'd make you happy. And that's what really matters, I think. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I'm really glad I have you in my life. Me too. Shut the hell up. You can't be sweet now. I don't. Oh my god. Fine. Fine, Sophie. I'll give it to you. Fine. Kiss me. Ew. It's ew. Ew. I don't want to see. Ew. Ew. It's corny. It's corny. I can't look. Yeah. Oh. Uh, can I kiss you? <laughs> <laughs> it's cute, but I didn't want to see it, especially with these trash animations. You and your acolyte kissed. What do you think will happen to them? Who? Sorry, my mind wanders sometimes. I meant Paul, Anne, and Marcella. Do you think they'll be released? Hmm. They, they got locked up? I didn't know. I wish they'd get a happy ending, but I'm not sure it's their kind of story. I'd like to believe it is. I think Paul becomes a famed photographer. He gets his own studio and decorates it like a hotel bathroom. As for Anne and Marcella, they move in together. But they keep leaving each other notes in the vents. You know, for old time's sake. I like it. Maybe you should write that. Hmm. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> they all got locked up. Is this the good ending? Is
That's that's true. I mean, yeah, that lines up with what actually happened. None of it can be the bad ending because I know they all got they all did something. <laughs> I can't even tell who that is, dog. He was already dead, though. Dang, why'd they give her, like, why'd they make her thick on the left? Sorry. <laughs> My bad. I, I don't care. They killed that guy. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Are you for real? What happened to Andrew? Oh, whoa, whoa, chill, chill. Okay, I guess that's what happened to Andrew. Andrew saved her. Imagine I didn't bag Andrew. She didn't, get, she couldn't get a new job? Okay. I wish there were some like words in that so I like knew what any of that really meant, but it's fine. I don't care. That's cool. Is this a good ending? Like I don't like I don't understand how they're trying to frame it. I don't even get it. Replay the game? Hell no! What the hell? I, I, I got. I guess I got the good ending. Sophie didn't get locked up. I only care about Sophie. I only care about Sophie. Sophie got the man she wanted. Got her. Sophie's life is great. So I I won. Bernard reopened the hotel, but how was I supposed to prevent that? Like, what was I gonna do about that? Like, why did they even show me that? It's a rich, a rich man with a hotel. Of course, he's gonna reopen it. What am I gonna do about it? Like, Bernard had no involvement in the story. Why did they even show me that image? They show me the grave with, with the flowers on it. Who cares? Who cares about any of the? Everybody that I've everybody that got arrested had it coming. <laughs> so I can't this can't be the bad ending because everybody got arrested that You chose to stand up to Bernard and quit, but now you have no money and a lot of regrets. I don't regret anything. Shh shh. What? These achievements don't even like really inform me. What is the good ending? It's and they didn't you chose to stand to Bernard and quit. So that would have happened either way for starters. But why didn't they like tell me You completed the game. There's no ending based achievement? <laughs> what ending did I get? You chose to stand up to run and quit, but now you have no money and a lot of regrets. But I don't get an achievement for opening a bookstore with my husband? Let me see, bruh. Let me see, bruh. Let me see, bruh. I'm eating a Reese cup. I'm freaking angry.
this was a hidden achievement. So Sophie can be like a backstabbing snake and I can get Wendy fired on purpose so I can get a mixer. I didn't get anyone fired because I'm a good person. Like, <laughs> what's the good ending? <laughs> Okay, so there's... The... Oh, you can steal somebody's money, great. I don't like... Like, I know, like... Uh, the bad ending, I guess, is just Sophie getting arrested. But she didn't. She just lost her job, but they didn't mention... Now you're cooked. <laughs> now you're cooked. Don't waste my time. Don't ever waste my time, bro. Instant uninstall. You're done. Mm. Uninstall. Store page. Let me write a negative review, dog. <laughs> you're finished. Don't ever. Don't. Uh... Let me. <laughs> I'm about to start crying. I'm genuinely tweaking. Because let me switch my frog detective review to negative. It's not worth playing if you actually think about it, bro. Like, it's if it's not worth playing if you actually think about it, then, like... So, recommending it, though, but only if you don't think about things too much and just... Uh, Switch that joint to not recommended. Immediately, this bed we made and cook it. It's it is so telltale though. Don't like mark it as it like. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, you know what? What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this bed we made? Before I write my review, I want to eat a Reese cup. Talk to my good friends in the chat. Listen to some music, maybe. I didn't get to see any of those characters either. At least they drew them for me, though. Because I got to see drawings. I mean, awesome, right? <laughs> Cliffhanger laugh. Dream for this disappointment is insane. <laughs> It was a waste of three streams. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Facts. It, it, like, we watched, um, I watched a movie with Ruby yesterday called, I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> um, the God dang, uh, never mind, I won't spoil that movie, but I didn't like it for similar reasons I don't like this game. As, as, as Ruby Udaran says in the chat, that drone was trash. It got tragic. New paddock. <laughs> Why is the text black? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it 
Is it La La Land irritating? It low-key feels like La La Land, but worse. <laughs> like, I, I finished that movie, and I was like, we should have just watched La La Land, which is crazy, because I don't even like La La Land anymore. Or at least, like, not as much as I used to. Uh, chill, chill, chill. Should we even finish it? Yeah. Do you like it so far? It's kind of boring. That's what I said. That joint is a, a snores fest. See, I knew I liked her. I knew I liked that girl. I knew I liked her. I feel like proud father when his son brings home beautiful woman who's nice and funny and smart and sweet and kind and has a cool name. If Audrey was dating a girl named Amy, <laughs> Amy, if Audrey was dating a girl named, uh, um, Chelsea, Emily, um, Karen, uh, Stephanie, um, Rachel, Chloe, he's cutting her, or I'm doing it for him. She's seen it before, all oh, the same person, I'm saying, like, <laughs> I'm saying, that's twin. Um, tell me how we feel about, dang, basically you all just said it's trash, okay. <laughs> Interesting. The Reese Cup. I shaped four Reese Cups, dog. Okay, let me let's write this review and get gone. Act disappointed? No, I'm leaving that game. <laughs> I'm leaving the Discord. You wanna watch? Instant leave. That's why nobody be in that joint. That's why nobody be in that server, bro. I wouldn't wanna watch a stream either. Just because Sophie was cute? She was cute. She was. And they squandered. <laughs> what is this clip? Bro, why are you trying to... What are you doing? <gasps> why are you doing that? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought Gnome sent me, so they would. Wait, I got Wizard 101 clips too? That's awesome. Wait, let me see. <laughs> that, that holy shit! I <laughs> <laughs> should so mean to him. Wow! Why did you say that about him, bro? <laughs> that, that holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you so mean to him, bro? <laughs> Wait, hold on, watch this. Ooh, watch me. Oh, 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 oh and you're Sorry. speeding it up too. <gasps> Sit. It's oh, slow it. Slow it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, watch it. Ooh, watch me. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, Wendy Wonder Whoop got a little swagger to her. <laughs> Wendy Wonder Whoop got a little swagger to her. And I'm not joking. Look at her. There's stupid pigtails. No, nah, no, hey, that's my girl. He killed Marvin. Okay. Um. Started very strong, but the whole started the show as I played through. The story is excellent, and reading all of the clues and details was very nice, but none of them actually come to fruition. You never meet any of these characters, even though the game frames the snowstorm as the craziest storm that no one wants to go out during despite this none of these characters 
are ever a threat and despite closing doors and doing the most to prevent being caught nobody ever comes back to their rooms or even to that floor in general most of the game is by yourself and when it's with others the animations are so terrible that any scene is immediately laughable the voice acting is excellent and the graphics themselves are very good too but for some unknown reason the animations are ungodly bad it's very noticeable when ca when characters move but the facial animations are okay i guess hmm With the blizzard around, it could also easily be a good climactic moment to have all the characters come together at the end of, the, of this big mystery. While the cops try to get through the storm, but this does not happen, happen either. Every time Sophie could possibly be presented with some type of villain <laughs> some type of encounter it never happens the hotel is always empty when when spoilers <laughs> I'll, I'll say spoilers like, i'll say spoilers hold on Copy all that formatting help. How do I do this? How do I make a spoiler? Okay. Cause I'm I'm at least respectful about my hatred. The murder happens at the very end of the game. There's a trail of blood. For some reason, you're supposed to follow it. Despite the power being out, no one is actually on the floor for you to encounter. It is insanely silly to follow a trail of blood of an active murderer, while at the same time never ever present a threat of being in the same room as him. The game also frequently presents camera angles when doors are open as if you're being watched, but you nev never are. Near the, the entire ending of the game is in, is in the interrogation room where pretty much no satisfying details or ending is given there's an insane amount of context and explanation that i would not have expected when when the game at the beginning warns of false imprisonment i couldn't I really could not care less about any of these characters because I never actually saw them and they are actually the ones in the wrong. <laughs> the husband was indeed abusive, but they killed him. <laughs> like, like it, it, reasonable. But would they not go to jail in real life? That's what, like, I can't, I, I'm not gonna, like, I can't just cover it up.
know what time it is. I'm in and out of Houston, hobby so much. I'm a hobbyist. Hoes waiting on cinch in the lobby. That boy a lobbyist. Because they're star-crossed lovers or have been to psychiatric hospitals. The game explores tons of tons of themes or at least pretends to but never gives them real depth and you never see conclusions. Dang, I'm a hater. Most of the choices don't feel impactful at all. Sophie says things that don't make sense when they they should easily be able to get, to get her out of situations. And I constantly felt like it was completely pointless to even be trying. Apparently there's good and bad endings, but the game doesn't elaborate nor does it mention or does it give an achievement for the good ending for the endings themselves i.e i received one when sophie lost her job but but not when she ended up with andrew The game at its heart has a great story and interesting premise with fun gameplay such as the cleaning even if that doesn't feel like it really matters. It was still satisfying to do. Hmm. Race and PTSD. Yeah, facts. There was no there wasn't even any racism. I wanted to actually How did they even know I was fiddling with guest things? I deleted all the photos they took of me. I threw away every single piece. Like why did I even do that? I threw away all of the evidence of me. It didn't even. I threw away his gun. He didn't even get to do anything. Why? Why is he in jail? <laughs> he has a gun. They just. What? The gameplay isn't real. The game. Pretty much all the worst parts of this game could potentially be solved in a sequel. But this game itself doesn't feel worth playing looking back. This really says something that I'm so unsatisfied when I got what in my opinion was the best ending possible i do not suggest content warnings for your game about racism sexism and more when they aren't ever really explored in depth a letter about a psychiatric hospital or star crossed non straight lovers does not matter when I never meet the characters in the first place. I already said the animation was trash. I <laughs> said in my seven million year long message. I got three mentions. The animations are so terrible that any scene is immediately laughable. The animations are ungodly bad. 
and floaty. There you go. Oh, I didn't even forget that this is the same models. <laughs> Pretty much all the male characters except Andrew look exactly the same. The detective, Eugene, Cruz, all three of them look like slight palette swaps of the same guy, which looks low effort when you never talk to, to, to them in the first place. When you rarely talk. Talk to them in the first place. You don't even talk to. Them. Don't even talk to too long. <laughs> Pallet. I did mention all the voice acting as well. The voice acting is excellent. There you go. Thanks, Noam. Thanks, Noam. Thanks for letting him know. You talk to him. I'll even allow comments. Like I'll beef with anybody over this. Like, you can't prove me wrong either. Like, you can't prove me wrong. It's just impossible. That's why it's very positive and not overwhelmingly positive. Because it's freaking stupid. Some of the puzzles feel vague. But I only... Had to look up a walkthrough once, but when you're scouring for stuff, you should definitely make the character faster. I don't plan to actually play this game again, even knowing I could could pick a different oracle who so I can't confirm if the other endings are much different but mine was just a picture slideshow with no context <laughs> I, I put the slideshow ending mm -mm -mm. golly Why did I buy this? <laughs> I mean, at least the streams were fun until... You know, my spoilers worked and everything. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get back to this review. Let me get back. Let me get back to the review. One person fell. Who who instantly hit that? <laughs> also, when you barely ever when when you're doing slow puzzles and finding clues, you should definitely have music playing. There's little cuts, cutscenes where you can turn TVs and radios on, but they don't actually play any music, so your experience is mostly silent, <laughs> which is not good. I expected some nice, calm jazz or some other thing, but I don't know it.
Okay, and I mentioned the music. Okay, we're good. No, they gave me a slow clap. Who gave me that shrimp? For real, for real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucky dude. For real, for real. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Like, we finished it. The stream's over. I guess. <laughs> An hour, 20 minutes. Down the drain. <laughs> At least we got to write a review about it, though. Isn't that cool? <laughs> don't you guys love the review section of the stream? Like, <laughs> me too. When they, they got the opinionated... Let me actually... You know, let me mention a positive in this review. Sophie herself feel is super cute, and I like her hair bounce, but she feels like the only character they put any effort into making. <laughs> there you go. Like I mentioned the hair bounce and the cuteness. Best part of the stream was Gnome's drawing is crazy, because that was the first seven minutes. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, instant uninstall. Uh, when we come back to Shane Shrimp's live stream, we'll be on Pokemon again. So, yeah. Isn't, we'll be back on Pokemon, we'll probably, you know what, let me open this other game first, you know. I want to, let's, let's see how it opens, like, let's see what we have to look forward to. Let me see, our next detective game, because I'm about it. Porn click story rich exploration. Okay, chill. Let me, like, let me just see. Like, let me just see before I close this. Doesn't even feel that loud. Always run? Honestly, probably. Let me just, like, let me just look into it a little bit. Sometimes reality is too complex for visual perception. Physicists state that the handful of dimensions you perceive are only a portion of those that constitute space-time. What the true nature of reality looks like, what existed before the Big Bang, rocketed the universe into existence, these are unanswerable questions. But well, imagination embodies the dark unknown in myth. Out of this unknowable haze, a world emerges wrapped in familiar forms. Your mind transforms the wisp of preternatural pre natural smoke. This, whoa, into bodies and steel and concrete. Your experience reshapes the world and makes this form eternal. You give it a name. You call it the constant. Okay, don't jump scare me. <laughs> don't jump scare me. That kind of that was kind of scary. This is way better, actually. <laughs> Dang! Uh, dick, wait. Hold on. They cut. They went crazy. Right, dang, he's hungry.
What, what do I need a watch for? Yeah, you can have this one. Am I selling watches? <laughs> Why am I selling watches? You want a watch? <laughs> you can have this big one. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, that's the next game we'll be playing that was better than the last one. So, let me, uh, you know, I'll put on the soundtrack. Wait, wait. The Forest Claudette dropped? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, bye. Thank y'all for coming. Um, I'm sorry that that game hit the worst ending ever, but like we were, I was complaining throughout like the whole thing. Unfortunately, it was it got too silly. It got too silly. Like we don't like when things get too silly. Genesis Noir is gonna go crazy though. I'll even play the soundtrack. Dang, that's gas. Dang, that's gas. But I won't play too much. Okay, it's over. Uh, uh, yeah. Bye. You like my, you like my Squidward hoodie? That's bold and brash. <laughs> that's bold and brash. Shame, pony.